Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while, I haven't posted anything in about, I don't know, a year now. So for those of you who stuck around, I appreciate you and the new subscribers as well. And for those who are like, oh, this is a good reminder to unsubscribe, now's your chance. Uh, but today we are taking delivery of a uh, Ram 3500 uh, Cummins diesel, obviously dual rear wheel drive, Bighorn edition. I won this thing off a of Copart about two weeks ago and it's been really tough trying to get it delivered from Georgia to PA just because one of the wheels was missing and a lot of the drivers didn't want to deal with that so I had to pay, pay them extra money and Copart a bunch of fees but finally I just got a call from the driver that he's 30 minutes out so I pulled up here to, to meet him and help unload the truck. So we're gonna go watch the truck get unloaded and we're gonna go over it, see the damage, and I'm gonna tell you guys what are the plans for this truck and then we're gonna kick off the build. So yeah, stay tuned. Here she is. From this side, you might be thinking that, well, there's nothing wrong with the truck. Look at it, it's perfect. I think there's a little, little thing right there. But <laughs> you'd be terribly mistaken because the other side is pretty bad. Not the worst that I saw, but this is the main damage right here. Uh, you got this bumper, fender. This thing is bent a little bit, but I think we could, we could work with that. Obviously, it's missing a headlight, fender liner. Um, this wheel got busted up pretty bad as you can see these lug nuts some of them are missing some of them are uh, Not fully on and this is actually the spare tire. The real wheel is back here That's what I was sitting on and it had no tire on it. That's why nobody wanted to pick it up But yeah, so this is the main damage right here uh, Also, we got the bed damage right here pretty badly We're gonna have to take off this whole bed because I don't think this is fixable along with that and this wheel got bent in pretty hard. Um, I already ordered new wheels and tires for this truck. It should be coming in sometime today. I'm gonna try to throw them on right away. Um, back here, everything looks fine. Uh, I wanna see if it got deleted. Nope, still got the DPF and cats and everything, which we're gonna do something about that. <laughs> hint, hint. Um, yeah, back here, it's... Back here is pretty nice. Um, as you can see, it's the big horn. It means it's got some bells and whistles. It's got a, a bed camera back here. Let's check out the interior. And I gotta say, this is probably the cleanest truck I ever got from an auction. There is no dust. I mean, it's clean. Like, I don't even need to clean the interior. All the seats are just spotless. Um, I looked around here a little bit. I saw a boating license. So I'm guessing someone was using it to tow a boat. Um, it's got that big display over here, pretty decently sized GPS right here. So yeah, overall I'm really happy with the interior, except we got one little issue. Um, the truck driver dropped it off in the street as you can see, and I can't leave it here like that, but it won't start. Um, I tried hooking up two jumper cables on it because some of you may know, these Rams actually come with two batteries. There's one here and one right here. And we, I tried a bunch of jumper cables. It would like give it power and then it would just tick and turn off. 
So I'm guessing these batteries are completely toast uh, and I gotta move this thing off the street as soon as possible. So we're just gonna go ahead right to AutoZone or Advance Auto, get some new batteries. It's gonna be pricey, but gotta do it and get this thing off the street into the driveway where we can start working on it. Let's go. All right, let's head to AutoZone. Get a lot of nice look of the truck. Looks pretty bad from the street, I'm sure. The neighbors aren't too happy with me. Uh, but you got to do what you got to do. We're going to get it out of the way pretty soon. Uh, let's head out. Also, yes, I'm driving a Prius. It's my beater car. Don't judge me. It's really cheap and it's really good on gas. And I just whip it around. Anyway, let's go. $400 later, I got the batteries back there somewhere. And it's funny, this Prius is literally like leaning a little bit from all the weight <laughs> of the batteries. But uh, yeah, it's pricey, but I mean, this is one of those things that when you buy a car from Copart, you always gotta budget like an extra thousand, maybe 2,000 for things that you don't catch in the pictures. Like I didn't expect to have to replace two batteries right away. Uh, tires, I need six of them, which is a lot pricier as well. So tip for you guys uh, when you're buying from Copart and you're budgeting um, make sure you add like a thousand at least so maybe two thousand for stuff that you're gonna discover surprises uh, but anyway let's head back install these batteries and hopefully this thing starts up please do Oof. shoddy is thick all right I'm not, I'm not gonna put that in oh, maybe I will Alrighty, let's get these batteries installed battery done I'm wondering if that will be enough to start it I might just need one battery that would save me about $200 on the other one let's see key in let those coils warm up please start let's go yes there she is all right just saved $200 <laughs> Hopefully the other battery charges up, the one on the right side. I'm gonna try to, um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to test it, see if it actually charges. But yeah, let's check out the interior a little bit. Um, it's got a pretty nice infotainment system. Um, wondering if it has Apple CarPlay. Here it's got like a SD card reader. What else, AUX, USB, USB chargers. Um, overall, I mean, it's a, I mean, it doesn't got leather seats or anything, but it's a work truck. Overall, it's a pretty nice interior, especially for a 2013. Um, I'm not sure about the oil status on this thing, which I don't see why it would be low, but um, I think I'm gonna, I'm not gonna let it run too long. I'm gonna go move that ugly Prius, park the truck there, and we're gonna go check it out some more. So the first thing I want to do really is this wheel took a pretty hard beating. I mean, this is where most of the damage was. Um, these lug nuts are toast, so I'm going to have to take off this wheel somehow. Um, I, the driver told me it was really hard putting the spare on, but we're going to have to replace, you know, I'm probably going to do all eight lug nuts. So that's probably going to be a separate video. Uh, looking under the truck, looks like there's some damage right over there, if you guys could see. Um, I don't know if that messed the alignment up or we're gonna need to get new control arms or what But these things are have a pretty tough suspension. So it should be fine um, So yeah, first thing we're gonna do really is probably get this wheel sorted put on a headlight so we could get this thing in drivable condition um, This isn't actually my house. It's my parents house So I want to move it over 
it's like a five minute drive back to my house first thing we're gonna do is just get into drivable condition um after we're done the body stuff i definitely want to do some performance modifications uh these diesels are capable of a lot more power and reliable power than they come from the factory so that's going to be you know fun kind of challenge and uh, video to do and then after that we're going to be transforming this thing into a hauler this thing's going to be hauling a big trailer uh, cars fright whatever you need uh, we're going to be building a custom bed uh, custom fenders in the back uh, we're going to be doing you know custom tail lights all that stuff um, also air suspension um, to level out the trailer so we're going to really be prepping this thing to be towing some really heavy loads which which is what it was made to do really i know a lot of people like to put big wheels on them and just drive them around in the city but this is going to be a purpose-built truck it's going to be a pretty fun build also as a little sneak peek if you look over there that's actually a bed from a, another ram 3500 single rear wheel though um i've actually actually just bought one a month ago and i didn't put it on video but it's actually in the body shop now so in the next video i'm guys gonna i'm gonna show you guys that one as well so it might actually be a two-part build uh of a ram 3500 dual rear wheel and a ram 3500 single rear wheel uh and then at one point you might even have a toe off see which one is stronger which one has more grip probably this one but it'll be fun to do and that's about it. I mean, we got the truck delivered today. We got it off the road. We got it started. We checked it out. Um, I already noted what kind of parts I need. I already put them on order, so they should be coming in pretty soon. And the next part, we're gonna start tearing this thing down, uh, getting into drivable condition, fixing that wheel, putting the new body parts on it, removing the rear bed. It's gonna be a pretty fun project. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Peace. Ooh, by the way, got my 226 back for the battery. So I'm pretty happy. All right, that's it. Now I'm done. Bye.